Hi guys. Today I will show you how to model a simple long sleeve shirt in Blender. I'm not an expert on this and it's not perfect, but this is what it will look like. So if you like the way this looks, keep watching and learn how it's done. I will begin by deleting the shirt that the model currently has. You can aim at a part of the mesh, and hit L on the keyboard to select everything that is connected to it. This makes it easy to delete entire parts of the geometry. I use the hotkeys 1 and 3 on the numpad to switch between front and side orthographic view. You can press C to enable the circle select mode I'm using here. Press enter to apply the selection and close a circle select mode. As a starting point for our shirt mesh, I add a cylinder object. I'll use a resolution of 32 vertices, but you can choose whichever suits you best. Next, I press tab to go into edit mode. Then I press G to move the cylinder up to the position our shirt will be in. When moving the cylinder you can hold control to enable snapping. You can also press Z to restrain the movement to the vertical axis. Next up, I press S to scale the cylinder, so that its width matches up with the hip of our character. I also go into side view and press G and Y to move the cylinder forward. Now I just select the left half of the mesh and delete it. For this, make sure your selection mode is set to vertex select. I then open the modifiers tab, and add a mirror modifier. I click on this icon to make the mirrored half selectable in edit mode. Now I select the top of the mesh, and move it while holding control, to align it with the neck of the character. I do the same for the bottom, and align it with the hips. Now I bring up the loop cut and slide tool, by pressing ctrl R. I increase the number of cuts until I have a resolution that I am happy with. Then I click on this icon to enable proportional edit mode. This allows us to move scale and rotate vertices, and affect neighboring vertices as well. With this mode enabled, we can shape the mesh into very natural looking curves. You can use the mouse wheel to change the size of the impact sphere. There are also different fall off curves you can choose from, and they each affect the mesh differently. I set the transform pivot point to 3D cursor, so I can scale the edge loops from the middle. Press N to bring up the sidebar, then click on view. Under 3D cursor, you can enter coordinates to change the location of the cursor. I set the location of the 3D cursor to about the middle of our shirt. I then select an edge loop and press S and X to horizontally scale the loop. I align the bottom of the shirt with the hips again. Then I select some edge loops in the chest area and scale them until I have a shape that looks okay. When I go into side view, I change the pivot point back to median point. I press A to select everything, then I use G and Y to line the mesh's position more accurately. And then it's basically the same game again. Selecting edge loops and scaling them horizontally with S and Y. From time to time I also move them forward or backward, because this time we are not trying to make it symmetrical.
As you can see, the surface of the mesh looks pretty sharp and edgy right now. To fix this, select everything and then go to face, shade smooth. Now I fix up the shape some more in front of you. Characters mesh clips through the shirt here, so I fix it by making the chest a bit bigger. Now I select some of the chest's middle vertices and move them back a little. I also use the loop cut tool to add 3 more edge loops. I do this so we can have more precision because the chest will be more rounded than the rest of the mesh. I accidentally moved the middle vertices past the mirror plane a little. You can prevent this from happening, by checking the clipping option in the modifier properties. I forgot about that when recording this, lol oops. I now select a single vertex where the boobs will be. Then I move the vertex forward using G and Y, while proportional edit mode is enabled, and I use the mouse wheel to adjust the width of the impact sphere. I also move the selection down a bit, and later I will move it sideways as well. It takes some trial and error to get it to look natural, so take as much time as you need. I moved this middle section down some more because it kinda looked like it was poking out. I now begin to select a region of faces to be deleted. That's where the sleeves will go. When doing this, make sure that your selection lines up in front of you. What I mean by that is that for each face that is selected, the face opposite of it should also be selected. If that causes the arms to not line up with the sleeve holes anymore, feel free to just select the sleeve hole and move it forward or backward. I leave some of these bottom faces out, to make a more rounded shape. I also add some triangles, by selecting the vertices and pressing F. Now I use the same method to connect the shoulders. I then go into edge selection mode and select all of these shoulder edges. Then I right click, and click subdivide, and add two subdivisions. Now I move these edges down and to the side, to make the shape smoother. Next up, we'll shape the neck hole. I first adjust these front vertices. Then I add triangles in each corner. For the back side, 
I'll add 2 triangles instead of just one. To do this, first, add just one triangle. Then, select the newly created edge and right click, subdivide. Then select the face and press X to delete, click only faces. Now select the middle vertex and one of the opposing edges and press F. Then do the same for the other side. Now you have two triangles in this corner. Now I move around the vertices to round it off some more. I want to change the edge alignment like so. To do this, select these two faces and press X, only faces. Then delete the middle edge. Now select these four vertices and press F to create a face. Then do the same for the remaining three vertices. Done. the sleeves, I'd like to create an edge loop with 12 vertices. This one however, has 13 vertices. So in order to make a loop with one less vertex, I will add a triangle. I do this by selecting this edge and hitting E to extrude. With the two new vertices selected, I press Alt M and click at center. Now we extrude the rest of the loop and connect it all up. When this is done, we select the entire loop and go to vertex, smooth vertices. In order to make the sleeve hole aligned with the arm, I hide some of the front geometry and then scale the loop along the Y axis with proportional edit enabled, so as to scale the sleeve and have the rest of the geometry smoothly fade into it. The shoulder part falls off too flat right now, so I place the 3D cursor at the bottom of the loop, set the pivot point to 3D cursor, and scale the entire shoulder vertically, by pressing S and Z. I continue extruding the loop and making a curved shape. Now I extend it all the way down to where the sleeves will end. I make two loop cuts around the elbow area, and then some more loop cuts in the middle segment. I then use proportional editing to adjust the thickness of the elbow region. As you can 
and see some of the arm clips through the sleeve, so we need to make it thicker. I now adjust the sleeves end a bit more precisely. The shoulder still looks a little weird, so to fix it, we do the same thing as before. We place the 3D cursor and scale the geometry. And now, as a final detail on our shirt mesh, let's add a seam around the neck hole. Select the edge loop and extrude it upwards just a little bit. Then, extrude it once again, this time a little further. With the topmost edge loop selected, go to vertex, smooth vertices. In my case, the middle vertices become disconnected. But this won't happen for you if you have the clipping option enabled which I mentioned at 621. Move the vertices of the edge loop closer to the neck. Lastly, let's make the bottom line of the shirt follow the curve of the belt, instead of being perfectly horizontal. Select the middle vertex in the front and move it down. Make the impact sphere big enough so that the entire front of the shirt curves down. Do the same thing for the back. And here we go. This is our finished shirt. I hope this video helped you out. Leave a like if it did, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.